me, Priscilla B, with my little assistant, my daughter, Angel. And today we are going to be doing a tarot card reading. So I just like to call this the freestyle tarot card reading. Um, ah! Don't eat that candle. Don't. <laughs> Candles are not for eating. Um, hmm. So... These are the spell candles that I got from this really cute little store at the mall. And I got purple, and I got a pink, and I got a peach. And if I ever have to cast a spell, I am prepared. And yeah, these are my cool little spell candles. And then and the goddess knowledge card for the day is <laughs> Venus. Venus is a Roman goddess of grace and love called Aphrodite by the Greeks. <laughs> she evolved from an early Italian nature goddess, a bringer of spring blooms and vines, a goddess of growth and the beauty of nature, the goddess of desire. Venus was the irresistible personification of both physical and spiritual love. She gave her name to the second planet of dawn and dusk as did her sister goddess Inanna, Samaria, and Ishtar, Babylonia. The story of Venus's birth tells how she rose naked from the sea, the source of all life, primordial creation, and a symbol of both the collective unconscious and eternity. It is a wonderful ima image for the emergence of young women into her full femininity. Venus is striking a affirmation of the love of beauty and the pleasure of the senses. Risen from the sea, she's a guide through both the stormy and calm waters of our physical desires and emotions. And that is the goddess knowledge card of the day. And I also have uh, the fun the fun deck. This is like a little mini deck of cards. Um, it came in a toy I got from my daughter, Love. And I just love these cards. And I feel like these numbers are your lucky numbers. So I'm going to draw your lucky numbers for today. Okay. And maybe these numbers are going to represent something um, too. Like I know 333 is a great, uh, is a really good number. Um, um, and can look up the meanings online. Um, if I draw the king or the queen or even the fun little joker here, um, the fun little joker means have some fun, lighten up, you know, watch a comedy, um, eat some popcorn in your favorite snack, eat some ice cream, just feel the energy of like just having fun and laughing and stuff. And, um, you know, the jokester, <laughs> he's the jokester. Um, if you don't feel like laughing, that's okay. You don't have to. Um, so the first card I'm going to pull is the King of Spades. So when I think of the King of Spades, I'm like, it's coming up spades for you. Like there is a lot of space going on. And honestly, I really wasn't prepared for the King. But when I think of the king, I think of masculine energy. I think the spades represent space and time. You know, um, it's interesting how if you look at the card this way, he's up. But if you look at the card, he's upside down. It's like a reflection. And we all have our reflections of ourselves. And I feel like some masculine energy is coming through. Also, the king is older. He's got a mustache. You know, he is... Um, the leader in the olden days it was the king was the leader of all the people and he's very rare that you saw a queen so i think right now there's a lot of masculine energy out there in the world and you know just be careful because you know things aren't always as they seem i don't know that's the message i'm getting today um okay and keep going keep going keep going and the second card is oh my god the king of diamonds another masculine energy right now and the diamonds i think represent money and wealth and prosperity and i think that there is a man bringing in wealth and prosperity to you now there's a masculine energy maybe you're in a field of work where there's a lot of males and you're the only female in that um work environment and maybe you're um bringing in money and you're surrounded by masculine energy right now i don't know that's the message oh, i'm getting Mom. take it or leave it 
it's all subjectatory, really. If you think it's speaking to you, then great. That's like, I love when that happens. I love when I get a reading where I feel like it's just directive right to my situation at that moment. Off not, leave it, you know, let it go to the next person. And the third card I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw five cards. The third is the ten of spades. So you have, again, a lot of people, a lot of space between you and these people, and a lot of masculine energy. So there's a lot of masculine energy surrounding you right now, but there is also space. So maybe these people aren't directly in contact with you. Maybe you're not directly with these people, but maybe they, maybe again, it's your work environment where you are away from them when you're not home, but then when you are around them, then it's work. I don't know. That's the message I'm getting right now. And the fourth card is the six of diamonds. Ooh, more diamonds. I think more money, more wealth. Um, maybe your numbers, I think your numbers for today are 10 and 6. So I think those are good numbers for you. Look up the meaning of the number 10. Look up the meaning of the number 6. Um, you know, you also have like 10 of cups, 6 of cups, um, stuff like that. Um, and the final card. Not even dealing with a whole deck here. <laughs> the five of spades. Okay, so again, you know, uh, I think another, uh, right, I had to turn off the oven. We're back. So, um, the last card I had was the five of spades. So I have the king of spades, the king of diamonds, the ten of spades, the six of diamonds, and the five of spades. Oh, that's you. Say hi. Hi, me. I'm so cute and adorable. Uh, Don't you just love me? Uh, uh, um. So I think there's just like an overall masculine uh, energy. And there's an overall wealth um, uh, energy. And just keep positive and stay firm and stay strong. Like, think of like a masculine king energy. Like you are the king and... You know, you're you're going to bring in money. You're going to be successful. You're going to make it happen. You know, you're going to manifest this. And, you know, uh, thinking it uh, doesn't just ne doesn't make it happen. You have to believe in it. You have to do the work. You have to put in the effort. Because if you do the work and you put in the effort, then you have created something beautiful and magnificent and wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into our other cards. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to shuffle this new deck that I just got. I'm so excited. Um, I've been losing cards this way and that, though. This little assistant of mine, she's, she's a good assistant. She just loves throwing them all over the floor all the time. Yeah, you do. You like throwing the cards on the floor. Um, so I'm just going to shuffle these cards. Mama, mama, mama. Um, here. <laughs> um, so I'm shuffling the cards and I'm just going to do like, um, an old fashioned tarot card reading, um, and just interpret it the best way I know how. <laughs> so we have in... The middle here, we have the Ten of Swords, and doesn't look like this guy is having too much of a good time. He's got like a lot of swords going through. I thought of backstabbing, front stabbing, all kinds of stabbings. Doesn't look that great. Um, but he's in. Uh, the Swan has him, and the Swan is holding him. And it looks like the Swan is lifting him up over the edge um and ugh, bringing him to safety so i think it, you've just come through a very tough battle and you have overcame a lot of obstacles but the swan is carrying you now to a safer place yeah that will say that's the present what's just happening yeah, what's uh, happening? Uh, what's just happened? And then up next we have the Emperor card. And this is the Emperor card right here. 
and uh yeah the emperor like i said the king the emperor masculine energy again um and i think that um, what you're doing now is you're being a leader, you're leading your people, you're leading yourself into victory. Um, you know, I think this um, skull here, uh, it kind of represents like, you know, not so much death and decay, more of like a battle just won. Um, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then up next we have... The lovers. Oh, I love this card. They're dancing. They're having a party. They have um, masks on. Um, there's other um, males and females dancing. And they're just having a ball of a time. And I think this energy is coming into play here for you. Because I think what's happening is you've come through a long journey. You've raked in the rewards. And you have... <laughs> put yourself through a lot and now you're experiencing a beautiful wonderful time all right she's okay now so um so we have this you know very treacherous journey that you've just come through with all the swords a battle has been won the swan is carrying you to safety now um again with the emperor and the masculine energy leader an emperor is a leader of people and then you have the lovers which represents dancing having fun having a good time and then we're gonna shuffle 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 like a little card story and angels doesn't like this is not angels card story today this isn't your card story is it where's your little pony where's your little pony here i am here i am <laughs> cheating i see that um and then here you have eight of wands the eight of wands when I think of wands, I think of magic. I think of, you know, a wizard has their wand, a witch has their wand, fairy godmother. I don't know if you've seen the new Cinderella movie out on Amazon, but I highly recommend watching it. Um, so I think um, with the cards, though, with the Eight of Wands card here, I forgot what I was saying, the Eight of Wands card, on that just reminds me of like magic and stuff like that and i don't know if you've seen the new cinderella movie but i definitely highly recommend watching it it's very inspirational it's very motivational for people who are looking for their perfect job their dream job or who are working and they're not getting paid and like they're getting mistreated um i just think that like, there is a lot of really good lessons in that story the lesson of love and um also in that story it has an interesting twist in the traditional cinderella movie but like more like the old-fashioned one um the prince was supposed to inherit the throne but in this edition there's a um a, a new storyline which i won't give anything away but i definitely highly recommend watching it um and eight again eight is like the infinity symbol so an infinite amount of magic and just good stuff <laughs> and four more nine of wands so you have the eight of wands and the nine of wands um, in the Nine of Wands, there's actually a person, um, and maybe this is just like your fairy godmother. I think this is kind of like a fairy godmother with their wand, and they're surrounded by flowers and beauty, and um, they definitely look determined. They definitely look like they're on a mission to complete something, and I think that's what's happening here is the Eight of Wands is leading up to the Nine of Wands and um, stuff like that. And then you have the Two of Pentacles. Um, this, I've drawn this card before, and I see this um, guy sitting on a, a wall that's like made a very good wall. And 
Um, I think that this is a good foundation. It's a good sort of wall. He looks comfortable. He looks like he's sitting in a good place. Um, and then he's juggling the two, the pentacles, which represent like money, wealth, prosperity. And I think, um, that's what's going on here in this one. I think there's just a good foundation for you and good money coming your way. Last two cards, five of wands. So this one is like these, uh, figures are putting together this. They look like they're struggling to build something and they're like fighting and arguing for the same goal. Like it looks like they're all trying to make some kind of structure, but it's not working. They're all going in different directions. They all have different um, goals in mind, um, different outcomes in mind, and they look like they are fighting each other <laughs> over it. Um, I don't know what this means uh, for you personally, but I think wands again is just like you know this is a lower number so i feel like this is something that's happened in the past i feel like with the eight and the nine that's more like future that's beyond the five so i feel like this is something that's happened to you in the past that you were dealing with um but you're no longer dealing with this um which is a good thing because who wants to be dealing with like arguing and fighting and stuff like that <laughs> and the final card this is my daughter love by the way <laughs> and the final card is and right now do you want to read place. it and right now put we're in a playstation that's sure. right <laughs> do you want to um read that card the hermit the, the hermit the hermit yeah what do you think that card means the hermit i don't know no, it's okay. You can just just guess. Is a title? Oh no, maybe from The Sims. I know. I don't know. Is what it... about The Sims? There's a hermit man. I don't know. Yeah, what is he doing? It's in The Sims, and I don't know. Is he hiding? No, he's in the hermit. Hey. He's a hermit. He's so... in the hermit. You're right. So a hermit is somebody who lives in complete and total like solitude and isolation and they live away from people. They don't interact with society very often and it can be a very lonely and sad life. And in this picture here, you see the hermit standing on a bridge with a moon and a river. And I think this represents like there's all this beauty in the world and he's enjoying it or you, I mean, male or female, but you're enjoying it by yourself right now. But it's very lonely, solitude life. And I just think wouldn't this picture like be more like romantic if there was like, they were kissing. <laughs> there were two people kissing under the moon. So I think right now you might be in solitude with yourself. You might be alone with yourself right now. Um, and that's okay. But I think like this is something where you're realizing that there's a lot of beauty in this world and you um, are longing to be out there and you're longing to be, um, you know, dancing and, you know, having a good time and um, not being by yourself like with the, the lover's card right here. Yeah, and I, I'm just feeling like... Uh, Spirit guys are just telling me to draw one more card, a bonus card, to wrap this all off um, and tell me what this all means. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go and spend time with my family. Okay. Okay. So, you want to read this card? Yeah. Okay. What's the King card? of Wands. The King of Wands. Okay. That makes sense. So, like I said in the earlier uh, cards, you have two kings, um, you have an emperor, you have the eight of wands, the nine of wands, and now you have the king card. And I think that, hold it up to this camera, I think that the uh, king of wands is saying like there is like a lot of positivity coming your way, there's a lot of prosperity coming your way, there's a lot of like the feeling of magic and um, fairy tales coming true and all those beautiful things and everything are all going to come in to play here with the swirling and the dancing and everything and the flowers 
and I think and there's just like angel. a lot of positivity coming into your life. This is angel. Well, this is my interpretation. Guys, this is angel. <laughs> I, I, All right. I, 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 Thanks for watching. Yep, this is angel this and is love. My, my sister, angel. <laughs> All right. Bye. She's right there.